So one of the major problems I have with the XS10 is the crazy exposure stepping you get when you use any kind of automatic modes. Like if you use an auto ISO, auto uh, aperture priority or shutter speed priority, you get all this crazy exposure stepping makes your footage look really bad. So I wanted to go out and test the XH2S against the XS10 and see what kind of results I got. It may help you if you use a larger screen to view the test portion of this video. It may help you see the exposure stepping just a little bit easier. Now let's get to the test. We're going to do both of these tests using the 16mm 2.8, uh, just the lens that I have with me. And uh, we're just going to see what they look like. As you can see, the wild uh, exposure step in the XS10, I mean, it's just crazy, almost unusable. You pretty much have to shoot everything in manual mode not to get that kind of crazy exposure stepping thing going on. Which is kind of a bummer, you know, because this is the kind of camera you might want to use in, you know, in automatic mode. The XH2S is way more controlled, I've, I've noticed. It's kind of hard to notice, but it, it's still there if you look close enough. From what I've noticed, when you're using a face and eye uh, autofocus, that the XH2S is way less aggressive trying to expose to your face. For instance, when the XS10 locks onto your face and eyes, I mean, it does everything it can to give a proper exposure for your face. And that makes the exposure go wildly up and down, up and down. 
the XH, the XHS2 is a little bit more calm, a little bit more relaxed and trying to get your, and it keeps your face just a little bit darker, I've noticed. So that's just a quick little test between the XS10 and the XH2S. If you're inclined to use any of the automatic modes, I'd go ahead and get the XH2S. It's just a lot more control than the XS10. The XS10, it's just, it just is does these wild, crazy exposure stepping things. It looks, makes it look, the video look terrible. And if you're doing any kind of professional work or anything like that, XS10 might not be for you. You know, if you're just out shooting family videos and stuff, it's not gonna look that bad, but it's also way cheaper. So anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.